all right, guys, see about a bit of top shot. So the last two, and I'll stop for this place. I'll be like, say, we do the design, um, the styling for the Africa here, which is a logo on this nav bar. So we go start to style this um, indicator here, then this text, and if time permits us, now we we'll just use, um, we we'll just do this carousel nav. A nav now. We we'll just want sharp sharp. All right, so um. I go enter my text editor now. Then I think with the style from this section now. Okay. So we stop for nav button here. All right. So what we'll go do now? We go come down then. We say left pin container. So we the target the section. We the target the section which is this part here now. So one target the section. Now what we go do? We go. We go say position relative then top will be ten em because we need to push all this content condensed condense more now. The same, so don't push come down. Then the next one we we'll do, we we'll set the width to seventy percent. Then we we'll set display to block. Then margin will be zero auto because as we we'll set this width to seventy percent now. Oh yourself. Yeah, Refresh. We're going to, need to shift and come this side. You see, I set on seventy percent, so I don't come out the centralization now. If I go back, make a refresh this thing. You see, I say it did align here now, but for our design, it did the middle. So we need to centralize. Now we will put that code there. So, so we don't run this one now. So do go do this. We go target the carousel indicator, which is this part here now. So I'll just copy this code here and paste them here like this. So inside section, I would enter carousel indicator. Then we we'll set display to flex. We we'll set display to flex. If we we'll set display to flex now, we we'll go. Um, justify content to center. So I want to justify the content to the center now. What you go do? You go push this item now come the middle here. You see him? You don't push it come the middle here. Then we just align items to center. Then the next thing we we'll set the font family. So now this font will be used now. We will see use um, poppins. So poppins put comma you enter sans serif okay then we we'll set our font weight to seven hundred we we'll set the font size to point eight em then margin bottom to thirty pixel. Okay, so if I go back to my browser, I refresh now. You see what I get now? The zero and the one. So the zero one and the zero four. Then we need to put this line here. You get. You know, so when we do the markup now, we put this empty uh, span here. We put this empty span. So now this empty span now, now we call style. Other ways, we'll be like, around this. So if we even target this one, they use before. I will target this one use after like that. That's 
I just like use this empty span. So anyway, where I see you like to tidy your stuff, as far as it work for you, no wala. The results now won't get. So the next thing I go do, I go target the span, then the end side. So the end side now, which is the second one, they get. So for this end side now, so you know the first side, you know the second side, you know the third side. So based on saying that the middle one target, now I will use end side. Now it's maybe not this first one now. If you just use maybe first side or this one, if you use last side. So it's not as if it's not this middle one, I would use end side. So I target the end side, then I'll set width to like um 110 pixel. Then we'll set the height to three pixel then background color will be black then margin will be um top and bottom will be zero while left and right will be 10 pixel to give the space to get now be this space where it is for this place so so if i go refresh the browser now see and see we don't get this one. So the next one we need to do now, we need to style this um K and this other paragraph for this place. So we we'll target the contents then K here now. Alright, so what I go do here now, I'll just copy from this part here. Then my job is on good that way. What I'll do. Okay, let's say let's multiple just now. Okay, so section then we target the content. So this content now, we just said general font family. You get, I'll put them here. Or if we use the same font family self, if you just set them directly to the section now. So if we just put them here like this, then we remove this one and we're not going to need to put this one against F. So it will just do now just to set oh, come on this one. Now just to set uh, we rest now. I just to set a uh, margin bottom to like 60 pixel. Margin bottom to 60 pixel. So, more check first. Uh -huh, nah, still work. So, it will go do. We'll target the H1 for inside this content now. H1. Then, we'll set the font size to 10 rem. Of even is M, anyone. Margin of the rem there. Then, font. Width, we we'll set the font width to 700. Then text transform. Text transform will be lowercase. The margin bottom 20 pixel. All right. Very fresh can out a big year. So what we need to do to this guy, we'll see. We need to make him bold. Then we need to send four size for ourselves. I'm not sure. Okay. Then we'll add small line heights. So alright, we'll just target the paragraph here. Paragraph. Then what we go do now? We go. What just say font size now? To one. Rem. Font width five hundred. Then line heights to like. 1.6 rem 
Okay. This in bold at also. We'll make a 600 first. Hmm. We'll make out the 500 back. All right. I'm going to leave it like this. Okay. So, we don't get to this part now. We'll just tidy this navigation button now. So, do go do. We'll go back to our HTML here. Then, just after this content here now, we'll create new div. Then, the div now will give a class. We'll call the class Carousel Nav. I will say nav. That's navigation now. Then we'll create the first button now. So the first button now. Um I'll just use div. I know it's button. I'll use div. I'll just say that previous because normally now um JavaScript will target them. So if you, you like this button, use button, but I just don't want to create my thing. So this one will get um icon. Icon, where go the points go previous, that is points go back. Then we'll create another one again. This one will be next. This one will point go front. So I'll go back. Why just open this my ion icon sharply? Ion icons. So um Chevron. Let me this one uh, Chevron back. We'll check the field first. Yeah, and I'm gonna use field. So I'll come this place. I'll just paste down here. Then this one now forward now. So if you just paste this forward, then change the back here to forward. So if I refresh now, you see I see the show here, Abby. So make we style this thing now. So what I go do? What I go do? I go target the carousel nav. I'll target the carousel nav. Then I'll set the display to flex so that the two go this side by side. You get see, I see this one they done. So as I send on the flex now, they this side by side. So we don't need any as much as now. We just um, design that circle for inside. So we do go do now. I'll duplicate this one. Remove this flex. Then after carousel nav, with the target div, you see, um, with the target div. So we we'll not just come this place now. The code to um, target this previous first. The reason why we we'll create class uh, maybe if we want to JavaScript now, if we go do one, but we're we'll not go do one shall. If we go do one, we we'll just target this class now. Take next something now. Uh, sorry, take previous something, or do this one next something go front. So um we we'll target the div, we we'll set the width and the height to 45 pixel. So I'll just duplicate this one now. Change one to height. Then we we'll go set the border to one pixel solid ash. Mm, we'll see. We'll use black black then border radius now together perfect circle we just say 50 percent then we set display to flex set display to flex move the circle without do so far you see so we won't carry this icon now eh? come the middle of the circle I make could set this display to flex because what we go do now? We'll go say justify content now to center. If I refresh, so I say the center. You get. You know this after they do justify content to center. I always put align items to center. Now, this is a lot of items go do now, so it eh? go shift this 
your icon also or the content will be like or the elements will be like see they are like the center now. you will shift an icon in the middle you see and that be this then we join to target maybe only this one now with space and comma side so that thing will resemble it to do for here so what i could do now i could target previous then i'll just say margin right so margin right could be 15 pixel margin right 15 pixel so i'll go back i'll refresh and we don't get this thing so physical and i just put cursor pointer so that one will hover on this thing they're gonna see that something will be like see they won't click they get so i'll just come here now i'll see cursor pointer you see huh? <laughs> all right so we don't arrange this part now and it don't resemble what we do here but now you will end this video so the next video we'll go start to tidy the other right hand side then we'll do our animation so anyhow now you know the b like the video subscribe i'll see you later but from top of the south now big tank you know the b see you now for the next video thank you